How? How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. We have to. We have to leave. The Selkath, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the Selkath came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I, I locked the door behind us, but, but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath, like us. Back to the surface, yes. No! There's something out there. It got the other submersible already. We can't leave until you do something. Blow up the entire station, maybe. That might distract whatever it is long enough for us to escape to the surface. But all the machinery and stuff is in the southern half, and that, that's been flooded. There might still be environmental suits around, but... but the Selkath might have laid their eggs in them. No! I locked the door so the Selkath won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead! If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Don't get your hopes up too high. I have no intention of dying. Ah, <laughs> 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 
What? Somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Investigate? You're just like the others. Father for the Selkath. Walk and fish next. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. When the Selkath went insane and started killing everybody, I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you. But they're dead. The Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive. But where the culto is, few fishies there. <laughs> Many, many, many fishes in between the water. Bye-bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you.
Who's there? You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkath killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkath swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy Selkath. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. No, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Selkath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! 60 seconds to complete the pressurization. 54 seconds. What? What do you want? Go away! You'll let the Faraxa and the Selkath in. Don't get us like they got all the others! No. The Faraxa, the, the Selkath, I, I, I can't let you in! They'll get us! I... I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anyone. I'll unlock the door. But you have to come in quickly. I... I'm sorry for what I did. 
I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was, it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Cellcath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Cellcath outside the doors every once in a while. And strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get at the Kolto. So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Kolto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. A star map? I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Kolto harvesting machine. But we can't go anywhere near those now. Maybe... maybe that's why it all happened in the first place. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... This monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. It was like they couldn't control themselves. Like the sound that the monster was making in our heads drove them insane. Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. I don't know. It seems impossible, but maybe whatever sort of power it used to drive the Selkath insane masked it from us somehow. Maybe it was lying dormant deeper in the Rift. I think it might live there. Live there because of the Kolto. Maybe. That would explain more. Like, why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Kolto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. I don't know. It must still be out there. Out there, waiting for us. The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kolto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. 
We were working on it before the giant Phyraxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto Harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Phyraxan shark. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the culto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice.
At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No? Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Insane. What did they do? And why? They killed everyone? And the mercenaries we sent later? That... it's horrible. What caused them to all go insane at once like that? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Yes. <laughs> 
Thank you. 